Now that you have a model inside Blender with its textures, time to pose or animate it. Step 1. Select the armature or skeleton. If you can't see it, it may be hidden or imported incorrectly. If the eye icon is closed up here, click on it, or to unhide all from viewport, just use shortcut Alt-H. Also, if you can't see all the bones or want to see them better, once the armature is selected, click on Object Data Properties, the Running Man icon, Viewport Display, and check the In Front box. I prefer being in the Animation tab so I can see it better with the second view. To set the second view, hit A to select all the bones, and then period to set view to see all selected objects. Step 2. Get the armature set up. Set auto key to on so any changes you make to the bones will stay changed instead of deleting all the work you do. Set the armature to pose mode. The animation tab will automatically put a selected armature in pose mode, but if it isn't, you can set the interaction mode to pose or shortcut to it using control tab with the armature selected. Step 3. Pose the model. Once in pose mode, you can move the bones by selecting them and rotating them with the rotate tool, or the shortcut R is your new best friend. You can also hit X, Y, or Z after R to rotate on that specific axis, or double tap R to freely rotate. If a bone is blocking the view of another, you can hide it by selecting it and hitting H. Don't forget to unhide it later with Alt-H. And once it's in the position you like, left click to confirm the move, or you can right click to cancel it. You'll see that these yellow dots appeared on your timeline. These are keyframes which tell the model where each bone should be on each frame. If you don't see the yellow dots, select the bones, hit I on the keyboard, and then lock, rot, and scale. That will insert the keyframes for you manually. Moving the timeline and reposing the model will create an animation between the two poses. The closer the keyframes, the faster the animation, and vice versa. Blah, 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 blah. Step 4. Animation settings. To set your frame rate, go to Output Properties, the printer icon, and change the frame rate to whatever you want. To shorten or lengthen the animation from there, you can change the start and end frames in the bottom right corner of the dope sheet. Shortcut to play and stop the animation is the spacebar. And done! Questions in the comments, and while scrolling down to comment, there's a subscribe button on the way that's free to hit and helps me out a ton. Deuces!